Hey, my name is Dan. I'm a senior solutions architect with School of Sheets. We build custom smart sheet solutions, and today I'm going to show you how you can make a multicolored bar chart like the one you see here. This question is coming from the smart sheet community where a user is saying that he would like to take a bar chart and have the negative number be red while the positive numbers are blue. So that's what I've done here. Additionally, I also have the maximum value turning gold, kind of is feeling the Olympics. So um, let's see how we can do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the data source and kind of explain what we've done. So normally people will format their data like this. You just have whatever it is you're interested in and some numerical value associated with it. And if you were to chart this data, it would look like this. So if we go back to the dashboard and if I'm to change the data to be this source one, it changed the chart type on me, but if we put it back to a column chart, it's all going to be one color and you really only have the ability to change the color of everything. I have a few custom colors down here that I've been using for this video, a darker blue. So the question is, how do we get to the point where we can actually change the colors? So if you look here, you'll notice that what we're doing is modifying the series. So what we need is individual series for each type of data and in this case the type of data we're interested in is in you know negative numbers and positive numbers so we need to separate those into individual columns and then chart them as their own series because then we can actually change the color so going back to our source data sheet what we're going to do is so i've actually i've already done it I'm going to make this font the same size because it's bugging me. All right. So basically, I have a few different formulas in here that are pulling different numbers into different columns if they meet some criteria. So I'm going to do that one later. So let's talk about how we can get positive and negative numbers into individual columns. Because what we'll do is have these act as independent series that will then display on the chart automatically. So. I'm going to delete these and start from scratch so you can see how it's done. So, I mean, this is, it's a very simple formula. We're going to use an if statement to say, if our rating is greater than zero, put it in this cell, pretty simple. And you might guess what this one will look like. If rating is less than zero, that would mean it's negative. It would go in here. Um, zero values won't actually matter because, well, if you're using data labels, they might. Basically, if you have a zero value, there's not going to be any visual display to it. But we could also do something like, you know, if this is greater or equal to zero, greater or equal to zero, so we can populate it here. So now what we need to do is modify the chart itself to reference these two columns rather than this rating column and then we can modify the colors. I have a link in my sheet summary for easy navigation. So now if we go here, edit it, change the data source, I'm going to select these three columns and then I'm going to specify I only want to use the legend plus and minus. Legend is just describing it. And of course, we need to have saved it. We've got to finish the work, of course. So you might be thinking you want a column chart, which is natural to think. You might notice, however, that um, the data is now kind of off. The bars, rather, or technically columns, are offset. These are slightly to the left. These are the negative is slightly to the right, and that's because um, these two series are appearing side by side. However, when there's a positive number, the negative values just don't show, so there's just extra white space. You can solve this by using a stacked column, which technically is putting the data on top of each other, but you know, in the case of the positive number, there is no value for the lower series, so you don't see it. Now what we want to do is we need to actually make these series um, operate independently. So if you want the data value, this is a new data point, or series rather, so we can always show the value. And I'm going to change the color to this darker red here. If you're interested in using custom colors, all you have to do is click the plus button and then you know, 
if you like. Purple is actually my favorite color, so you can do a purple. But let's do red to indicate negative. So now let's go back to our data source and see what happens if we change some of the values. I swear I keep modifying that. All right, open the data source when you click it. Let's go negative four, seven, two, nine, five. All right, so January and June should be negative. And boom, and you can see since this is based on the series, the data is all applying here. So one other thing that I thought was kind of cool is, you know, what if we take the maximum value and make it a different color itself? So now we'll have three colors. So that's where these um, formulas come in here. So what I did, and I'll walk you through it again, is first um, rank all the numbers here in the rating column to figure out what the first one is, that's the highest one. Isolate that, and then what additionally will need to be done is it needs to be removed from the positive um, column. And technically, this method assumes that there's at least one positive value, because um, I'm not actually applying it to the negative column, but you, you very well could. So let's delete these formulas. So first, we're going to use a simple rank formula. And we're going to use rank Q. If you use rank average, um, if you have repeating values, you're going to get um, potentially decimal points. Using rank Q, everybody will, every single number will have its own integer, you know, one, two, three, four value to it. We're going to rank the rating value within the rating column. So rating, total rating. Convert this to a column formula, nice and easy. Nine is our highest value here, it's shown one, so perfect. So to get the maximum value here, I'm gonna just say if rank at row equals one, then I want the value in rating. Nice and easy. And now the last thing we need to do is make sure it does not appear in this column because then we'll have it side by side, it won't look great. So I'm going to say if rank at row equals one, I'm going to say actually if it does not equal one, apply the formula we already made. I'm not going to do a value with false because it will just disappear. So just to show you that one more time, if the rank at row does not equal one, then check if the rating is positive. If both of those are true, then it will populate this value with the rating value. If either of them are false, there will just be no value at all. So let's go back to our dashboard. Change this chart one more time. Let's grab all these columns. Legend plus minus max. And then of course we need to use our lovely stacked column. Edit this series a little bit. Let's pick a nice, that's not that nice. This nice gold color, or I don't know, kind of looks like mustard. Let's take this one and give it our dark red and save it. And now, so as you know, this different series get added, the colors did revert a little bit, so that can happen. However, once you actually have it set up like this, um, the colors will change, or they, they, will, they will not change rather. So just to demonstrate it, let's change these values a bit. Negative, let's make bigger numbers, why not? All right, back to our dashboard and boom. Colors are still applying, data labels are still applying, maximum value has changed, and life is good. So that's how you make a chart with 
colors and adapt based on the relative value of the data point in question. Hopefully um, it's helpful and you can use your custom colors too. It's kind of a nice new feature. If this video helped you out, uh, please give it a like and consider subscribing for some more smart sheet educational material. If you are interested in um, getting help with Smartsheet, we do Smartsheet consulting, uh, building new systems from scratch, adding on to new systems, whole nine yards. Uh, there's a link in the description of this video where you can fill out a little form and get in touch with us if you need to help the project. So, thanks. Get out there and make some awesome charts and have a great day.